Typhoon Chanthu, Philippine name Kiko, on a weakening trend but only a gradual one at this point, still a mid-range Category 4 on the Sapphire Simpson scale at 15.9 degrees north, 126.5 degrees east. There it is on visible imagery this evening. Right now then, it's currently got 140 mile per hour winds, a pressure of 930 millibars, moving west-northwest at 11 miles per hour. A Category 4 on the Sapphire Simpson scale as of 6pm Philippine time. Looking at the CDPS, we're looking for a landfall in Basco, quite possibly, on Saturday, early morning, early hours. Um, it, it could be a significant Category 4 still at that point. A Stage 6 on the CDPS scale with rainfall amounts could reach 300mm for the Patanas Islands. Here it is right now then, it's had two Category 5 peaks already and here it is with a still a fairly small wind field, it's been a small storm throughout. Um, it will start to gradually increase in size as storms do. Um, currently 542 uh, kilometers from Santa Ana, 693 from Basco, 943 from Taitung, Taiwan, 1029 from Hualien and 1135 from Taipei. Um, currently, Signal 1 warnings are in effect for the northeastern tip of Luzon and uh, the Babayan group of islands. Of course, we expect warnings will proceed to uh, expand as time goes on. It's already getting pretty close to land at this point. So here it is right now, the uh, estimated sustained winds, Pegaso a little lower, 125 miles per hour, uh, the JMA with the 140 right now and the JTWC uh, still climbing down from the Category 5 peak they have. There is the JTWC forecast calling for the storm to just miss the uh, peninsula of um, Luzon and then head on towards Taiwan, could be a Category 4 landfall there according to them. Um, and moving pretty much over the Taipei region as it moves off Taiwan and then grazing the eastern coast of China. It is going to be a fairly erratic track, an uncertain one, uh, as it heads up towards that way. You'll see it on the model runs in just a moment. So here is the latest GFS uh, showing the storm, according to it, uh, moving off the east coast of Taiwan and doing a little swivelly off the uh, uh, I, uh, Japanese Ryukyu Islands, uh, possibly to do with the other invest that's out there right now, 96W, I think you can see that quite early on there, interactions causing it to go on a very erratic track and the two of these systems uh, together producing huge amounts of rainfall for parts of Japan there and also looking towards the south there, the Philippines uh, were looking at possibly maybe um, 100 millimeters or more uh, and for Taiwan the GFS model takes it offshore but if it does strike Taiwan at an actual landfall we could be looking at very high amounts of rain pushing 300 millimeters or higher. Sea surface temperatures very warm on approach uh, currently around 29 degrees Celsius across the board right up into the East China Sea um, and halfway up the East China Sea still 26 degrees there 79 Fahrenheit. Uh, this is what the uh, model spread looks like right now, calling for the storm to be pretty much peak right now and then gradual weakening up to Taiwan and if it misses Taiwan it will obviously be a little bit stronger for longer as well. Uh, wind shear is going to be pretty low for the next four days, sea surface temperature is very high, relative humidity is good so conditions are pretty good for the storm, the only thing that will really inhibit it and bring down the intensity will be land interaction. Obviously we will we'll be watching for that. Here's the latest satellite imagery and all of these views you can find on our live stream. Automated satellite feed right now on the Force 13 channel shows how the storm has been progressing in the last few hours. You can see the eye has started to fade away a little bit. Uh, I'm sure it will be back at some point. That uh, pinhole eye was never going to last forever. Uh, and this is more um, imagery from the infrared, a little bit of outage there actually. Uh, but you can get the general idea of what's going on and the water vapor imagery a wide shot showing Konsan as well on either side of the Philippines two tropical cyclones We'll have more updates on this and a live event coming up later this evening